Hi guys, welcome to Catapult Carnage. My name's Chris and today we're going to go over seven steps that will help you shoot your catapult or slingshot more accurately. Okay guys, so let's jump right in. Step number one is your stance. You want to first of all look at your target, figure out where your target is, then adjust your foot position to where you're square on to your target. After you've adjusted your feet, look back to your target. If your feet need readjustment, go ahead and do that. If not, you're ready to move on to the second step. All right, so step number two is loading the ball into the pouch. You want to load the ball into the center of the pouch. Hold it with your thumb and forefinger and adjust the two front edges of the pouch so that they're dead level. You don't want your pouch off level, which will ultimately affect how the shot goes. Also pay special attention to the position of the ball between the index finger and the thumb. And you must replicate this in the same place every time. I use the tip of my index finger and my thumb. A lot of people hold behind the top knuckle and their thumb. Okay, step number three, draw on the bands. You want to replicate the same thing every time. The key to shooting ac accuracy is consistency. So whenever you're going through these steps, you want to be consistent in every step that you go through, which will also ultimately lead you to more consistent accuracy. So whenever you're drawing your bands back, you want to draw them down and up, or up and down. The key thing is to keep it consistent. Before you start drawing, you want to be zoning in on that target. You want to be focusing on it. You want to draw with your dominant hand under your dominant eye. Doesn't necessarily have to be, but it helps a lot if it is. You want to be drawing the bands back under your dominant eye. Typically, this will mean that you'll be holding the catapult in your non-dominant hand and using your dominant hand to hold the ball. All the magic, all the accuracy comes from the pouch hand. A lot of people, right-handed people, will typically hold the catapult in the right hand. This I consider to be, and many others consider to be, incorrect. You want to be drawn under your dominant eye, and you want to be drawn with your good hand, and you want to keep that draw consistent. Step four, your anchor point. You want to draw back to an anchor point between your cheek and your mouth. You want to make sure your pouch orientation is the same every time. You don't want to have rolled that ball off center during the draw, whenever you reach your anchor point. And you must, must replicate this as best you can identically every time. Finding your anchor point is a different video that we're going to film straight after this. So you can stay tuned for part two but typically the best anchor points is between the corner of the mouth and your cheekbone okay so step five aiming this is a very crucial step they're all crucial steps but this one is especially crucial if you've got the rest of the steps right so far this is where the magic happens so whenever you're aiming you don't want to be trying to hold your catapult steady you don't want to be trying to hold it steady just on the target. What you want to do is a controlled movement. So you want to bring your catapult down and up onto your target, or up and down onto your target. Or I like to do a figure of eight around my target. So that means that I'm not trying to hold my reference point exactly on target, perfectly still, which is impossible to do because everybody has small involuntary movements. So if you can make that a controlled movement, you can time your release. Which brings us on to step six, your release. Release is so crucial for accuracy and it's where most people go wrong and get their inconsistencies. Your release should be nice and clean and smooth. There should be no jerked movements. It should nearly come as a surprise to you. All you're doing is relaxing the grip that you have on the ammo. Once you master your release, if you ever do truly master it this is where your accuracy will come down to if you get the rest of your steps right and you can perform perfect releases most people under pressure it's the release that sets them that makes them miss because it's over excitement a lot of people you see jerking or doing an explosive movement the bands do the work you don't need to jerk your release you just nice and smooth Relax your fingers and that ball will go in a straight line. 
All right, final step, step seven, evaluate. After every shot you let go, you need to evaluate that shot. This is what ultimately is going to teach you. You're going to teach yourself how to become better. If you can diagnose where you went wrong in your steps as to why you missed, this will make you a better shot. So going back to your anchor point and reference point, which we'll cover again in greater detail in a video, but once you're lined up with your bands on your target, you've got that line good, your release is good, but your shots are going high. That means that your anchor point is too low for the reference point you're using and vice versa. We'll cover that in greater detail in another video. But going back, you need to evaluate every shot you do. Ultimately, if you can diagnose why you've missed, why you've missed, may it be your stance, your head tilt, your uh, orientation of the ball in your fingers, your release, it'll be something. It'll be something uh, along those six steps will be the reason why you have missed. If you can pinpoint the reason why you're missing, this will ultimately lead you to become a better shot. So guys, listen, I hope that helps. These are very uncertain times. We're all spending a lot of time at home. I thought I'd upload this video and uh, maybe encourage you guys to get out in the backyard, get out with your kids, maybe go for a short walk that you're allowed to do here and shoot your catapult. It's fun, it kills time, you're learning a new skill and in a survival situation you could feed yourself. So thanks for watching guys. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, drop me a comment. If you haven't already, please subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.